This tutorial is the second part of the movement series. So in this tutorial, we're going to do what I call look walk. And look walk is when you walk by looking. And so the best way that I've, that I've experienced this is when you look down past a certain angle, you'll, you'll move. And when you look back up, you'll stop moving. Uh, so when the rotation of the head goes to a certain angle, we're going to say move. And then whenever the uh, gaze comes back up from that angle, we're going to stop moving. This is really easy to set up. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in the uh, Google VR SDK 0 0.9. And in the Google VR prefabs folder, there should be a GVR viewer main. We'll bring that into here. And that gives us a working VR camera. Now I'm going to create a terrain. Okay, so I have some terrain and it has a terrain collider on it. So the player can respond to physics on that. On the main camera, I'm going to add a character controller. And then on the character controller, I want it to be a height of two because that's a good height for a for a character. So that's what it's set out already, but the camera's right in the middle. So I'm going to make the uh, offset a little bit, not one, but negative one. There we go. That way the camera is right at the top of the uh, character's head. Okay. Now we can add the script. We're going to call it VR look walk and open it up for editing. And this is a really easy script to write because all we're doing is looking at the main camera's transform rotation value on the X. And when the player's looking straight forward, the X is at zero. But if you start to look down, the X increases. And if you're looking straight down, you're looking at 90 degrees straight down. The editor uh, caps you at 85 degrees, but when you're uh, in VR, you can look all straight down is 90 degrees down. So all we have to do is watch for that rotation value and start moving based on that. So to make this work, we're going to use a public transform for the VR camera. We're going to need an angle and I'll call this toggle angle when we want to toggle the movement to start moving and to stop moving. And it seems like a good value for this is 30 degrees. So if you start tilting your head down, when you get the X value to 30, that seems like a good point to start moving. Of course, we're going to make it a public value so that if you want to modify that for your game, you can. So we're going to say public. This is a float value. Toggle angle. And because it's a float, we're going to say point zero F and then we're also going to need a speed so that we can uh, determine how fast we want the player to go so we'll say 3.0 F for the speed and we're also going to want a bool to know whether or not we should move forward we're going to need to access the character controller that we added. And I'm going to make that private since we can populate it automatically. So to populate the CC variable, we can say CC is equal to get component. And we're going to find the character controller. And that'll work because that character controller is on the same game object that the look walk script is on. So now, now that we found the character controller, we're ready to do all of our coding. Uh, we could populate these VARs so that we understand what they are. The VR camera is the main camera, of course. We already have set a toggle angle uh, to 30. We can modify that and a speed to 30. So here we go. In the update, we need to check if the camera's rotation has gone below 30. So we're going to say if VR camera dot Euler angles dot X. We use Euler angles. Otherwise, we have to deal with quaternions. 
So we're going to say if the Euler angles dot x is greater than or equal to our toggle angle, but we also need to check if we're looking past straight down. Um, because if we're looking up, that could be up at, uh, say, 270 degrees. And so that is greater than 30. So, so we need to set a maximum rotation here for VR camera dot Euler angles dot X. And I'm just going to use the 90 degree angle, which is looking straight down. So if our X angle is greater than 30, but less than 90. So at any time, the player is looking between here and straight down, they will be moving forward. So we're just going to say move forward is equal to true. And in any other case, move forward is going to be equal to false. Now we just need to make move forward do something. So we're going to say if move forward, and this means if it's equal to true. Uh, this is the same thing as saying if it's equal to true. So if move forward is true, then we're going to say create a new vector 3 for the forward direction. And that forward direction is equal to the VR camera dot transform direction vector three dot forward. So we're just saying create a new vector three and we want to know what is the forward direction of the VR camera. Once we know the forward direction, we can tell the character controller to do a simple move for forward direction times our speed variable. So if we want to know more about what the simple move function does, we could look at the character controller class and say Unity API reference. That's going to take us right here to the character controller where we can see all the variables as well as the public functions move and simple move. For our case, we're just using simple move. And so let's see what happens. I can look around. And if I look down past 30 degrees, I'm at 40 now, so I'm moving. And when I look up, the character stops moving. And if I'm looking down, I start moving. Everything looks good except when I develop, I like to put one comment per line of code. Okay, so now that I got my comments in, it should make more sense. This is the VR main camera. The angle at which walking and stopping will be triggered, x value for main camera, how fast to move, should I move forward or not, character controller script, and then when the script starts, find the character controller script during update, check to see if the head has rotated down past the toggle angle, but not more than 90 degrees. If so, move forward. Otherwise, stop moving. And then if move forward is true, find the forward direction from the camera and move the character forward that direction. All right, I hope this helps you out. There's going to be more movement tutorials coming up soon. And I'm also putting a bunch of movement examples into one pack for the Unity Asset Store. So stay tuned for that. And remember to subscribe for more VR videos and games coming up right here.